When measuring points, it's important to note the default point name and the target height. If we hold down measure 1 and the record mode is on confirm, then it gives us a chance to edit those. For example, I measure a point and I can see I can go back and change it to whatever I need to. For example, working point 7 height of target 1.6 enter and now the next point name would be working point 8 but if I hold down and I change the confirm to all it doesn't give us a chance to edit it and it will store the point with the name and the height displayed so if I push measure now it simply records the point the next point would have been working point 9. So if it's on record all, then you'd have to change the default point before you hit the measure button. So now the next point would be waypoint 10, and the target height is 2 meters. If I now push measure 1, it stores the point with the correct name and the correct height. Just going to change it back to confirm and see what measure 2 is. I'm going to change measure 2 to measure only. And now, if we hit measure 2, it simply displays the directions and the distances without storing it. This might be useful when you're just checking some work. So to illustrate how a tacky survey would be performed, from the main menu you can just push mode and you can see that we've got 10 empty spaces to put our favorite codes in. To edit one, you can highlight the selected box and hit measure 2 to edit. And then our most favorite one might be a spot shot. Let's edit the next one and put it as top bank and number three we'll put bottom bank number four perhaps a tree and number five perhaps we'll put a manhole Alright, now as soon as we hit one of the number buttons from the main menu, sorry, just illustrating the default point when you're doing a tacky, just get it right so that it can auto increment and get your target height right. So now if we go to mode and we simply push the button corresponding to our favorite code, it'll store the point with that code. Hit number one for a spot shot, and we can see our settings were on confirm, but it had all the right codes. So if we hit number two for a top bank, you can see that the code field is automatically populated. Just want to change it so that it's on record all instead of confirm. We can save some time here. And remember with record all you don't have a chance to change the point name. I should have changed it within the quick measure field. Let me just change this one back before I forget. Okay, so we push mode, then we choose our quick code, for example a manhole and now just records and stores the point with the right code. If I push a bottom bank, number three, again it'll store the point with the right code. 